Good morning everyone, I Varsha Sharma, working as assistant professor in the Biani group of colleges. On the behalf of Guru KP, I am presenting a lecture on the topic of difference between the forwards and the future. Before starting this lecture, it is very essential to know that what is the meaning of future. Future is a contract or a legal binding agreement to buy a sale, to buy a commodity sometime in a future. For example, you are a farmer and you are growing a corn in the month of April and you will do harvest in the month of July. In the month of July, that time you have the uncertainty about the prices that what you will be received. Suppose if the supply is normal, then you then you earn the normal prices. If supply is over in the month of July, that time you have the risk of price. That time we can apply the tool future for safe our site or to earn a profit in the future contract. Future or forward similarly contract procedure but there is differences. In the future there is some standardized contract and in the forward it is not a standardized contract it is not a standardized contract and there is some differences in the future and uh, forwards that are shown here but what is the main objective of the future future main objective is to minimize the price price fluctuation in the contract and there are two main terminology of the futures first one is long future and second one is short future if we talk if we talk about the long future it means we buy the future if we talk about the short future it means we sell the futures so friends now we start with that what is the basic difference between the forwards and the futures first difference is location future contracts all are occurred on the specific future exchanges they have a specified locations that they are traded in the future exchanges and in the case of forward there is no fixed location they can trade in anywhere and there is no specific place for occurring that trade occurring that contracts they, we can trade it anywhere or any places in the market now second is size of the contract in the future market there is a specific size there is a specific quantity or there is specific prices predetermined by the investor before the contract. But in the case of forward, it totally depends on the terms of contract. It is not, it is not specified by the stock exchanges. In the case of future, these size of the contract are decided by the future exchanges. For example, if you, in, the, in the Chicago Mertel exchange, if you want to trade in the euro, Euro, then the minimum size of the contract is 1,25,000 euro units. But in the forward, there is no specific si size. It totally depends on the term of the contract. Now, third difference is maturity. There is a fixed or a specific date of the contract maturity in the case of future market. But in the forward market, it totally depends on the depends on the parties or depends on the terms of the contract. Now next is counterparty. Counterparty, in the case of the future market, the uh, the clearing houses play as a role of counterparty. Clearing clearing houses are the institutions are the institution that clear all the transaction of the future exchanges. They may be the part of the future exchange or may be the separate entity. But in the case of forward market, this role is played by the bank or client. Counterparty may be the banks or may be the client. Now next difference is market place. Future, uh, future contracts are occurred on the, on the future exchanges and in the case of forward market, these trade are occurred over the telephone and over, all, the telephones are, all the telephones are connected with the worldwide networks. Now next is valuation. In the case of future market, valuation is based on the mark to market concept mark to market means daily margin concept Mar there are two types of margin in the future market first one is initial margin and second one is maintenance margin initial margin is deposited by the investor at the time of initiating of the contract and second one is maintenance margin this is a specified limit which is maintained by the investors in their contract this is a particular or a specific limit if the margin go below this specific limit then again the investor has a uh, compulsion to deposit this margin to the exchanges now in the case of forward market there is no unique method applied for the for the margin 
or for the valuation. Now next is regulation in trading. Future market is governed by the future exchanges. A forward market there is no uh, there is no governing regulations and the authorities and they are governed by the self regulations. Now next difference is credit risk. In the case of future market there is almost no existence because because clearing houses settled all the transaction. So that's why there is no risk no credit risk in the case of in the case of future market. But in the case of forward market, it depends on the counterparty. If the, both the parties are credit worthy, then there is no risk. If they are not credit worthy, then they create the risk in the market. Now next is settlement. In the case of future market, these are settled through the or with the help of clearing houses. They play a role as an intermediary between the buyers and the sellers. And in the case of forward markets, totally depends on the terms of the contract. Their settlement is totally depends on the term of contract. Now next is liquidation. In the case of future market, mostly positions are offsetted. If you are in the position of buy, then it offsetted by the position of sale. If you are in the situation of sale, then it is offsetted by the position of buy. There, there are very few deliveries in the case of future market. But in the case of forward market, it is settled by the deliveries. In the last Last difference between the future and the forward market is transaction. There are two types of transaction cost. First one is direct cost, second one is indirect cost. In the case of future market, direct cost is very high. Direct cost means brokerage charges, commission charges. This is very high because the reason is that clearing houses play as an intermediary and they charge the brokerage or the commission as their fees. So its cost is very high in the case of direct, uh, in the case of future market and indirect cost. Indirect cost is difference between the bid and ask spread. It is very low because it is regulated by the exchanges. So there is less speculation in that market. But in the case of just opposite, in the case of forward market, direct cost is very low because uh, because there is very limited or there is no transaction cost uh, or a commission or the brokerage charges but the indirect cost is very high because bid and ask difference is very high in the case of forward market because it is the it is decided by the mutual understanding of the both persons buyers or the sellers so generally it is very high comparative to the future market so friends for the further details please visit www.gurukpo.com thank you thank you and thank you